Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about probability distributions, specifically how to calculate the expected value. As shown in the syllabus. The formula for the expected value is given on page 9 in your formula booklet. The expected value of a discrete random variable is the average value. It's also called the mean value and the expectation. And it's sometimes denoted by the Greek letter mu, as shown at the bottom. The expected value is not necessarily the most likely value, that would be the modal value. To calculate the expected value, we sum up the products of each x value multiplied by its respective probability. So in this example with a spinner of four equally likely outcomes, hence each probability of a quarter, we can find the expected number of points awarded by multiplying each number of points awarded, for example 5, by its respective probability and adding up each of those calculations. So the expected value is 20 points, which means on average we would expect to get, to get 20 points per spin. However, of course, it's impossible to get 20 points on any given spin, but what it means is over a long time, we would expect the average number of points to be 20 points per spin. The expected value can also be calculated on your calculator. I'll just show you how to do this. If we press menu, option 2 for statistics, and then F6, followed by F4 to delete, and F1 to delete the contents of each list, moving across and repeating the process, F4 and F1, and then we can enter the points awarded into the first list, 5, 10, 15, and 50, and in the second list we can put the probabilities, so quarter, one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter. Notice the calculator converts them into decimals. And then if you press F6 twice to get back to the main menu, followed by F2 to do a calculation, and then F6 to set the lists. And if, then if we scroll down and choose <coughs> F2 the list and choose this two where the probabilities have been entered. Then if we press enter again, finally if we press F1 for one variable calculation, we will get the results. And as shown, the expected value is 20. In this question, we're first asked to state the possible values of x, the random variable. So the number of magazines sold can be anything from 1 to 5. So those are the values of x. Then if we state the probability distribution in a table, converting all the percentages into decimals. The most likely value of x is the one with the greatest probability and that's 0 0.38, so that would be x is equal to 2. So the most likely value of x is 2. In other words, customers are most likely to buy two magazines. To find the expected number of magazines, we use the formula given in the formula book. And again, we multiply each value of the random variable by its probability. So we multiply 1 by 0 0.23, 2 by 0 0.38, and so on. 
and we add each of those products together to give an expected value of 2.39. Again, you can perform this calculation on your calculator if you type the distribution into the two lists. So in this case, the expected value means that in the long term, the average number of magazines purchased per customer is 2.39. In this question, we're first asked to find the value of k from the given probability distribution. So if we start by using the fact that the sum of the probabilities always equals 1 to write an equation involving k. And solving that equation algebraically gives k equals 120, as shown. Alternatively, you can use your calculator to solve the equation here. And I'll just show you how to do that. So if you press menu, followed by equation, followed by F3 or solver, and then we need to delete any previous equation. So we press F2 and F1 to confirm its deletion, and then we can type in the equation. So we press 4, for our k we represent with x, plus 6, x, plus 6, x, plus 4, x, shift, equals 1. And press execute to enter the equation. Finally, if we press F6 to solve, you will see we get the same answer, 0 0.05, the only difference being it's given as a decimal. Finally, we can substitute k back into the original expression up here and work out the four probabilities and state the probability distribution. As shown to the right here. So finally, to find the mean or the expected value of u, we again use the formula. And we multiply each of the values of u by their respective probabilities, 4 times 1 fifth, 5 times 3 tenths, and so on, and we add up each of those calculations to give the expected value. And that value is 5.5. Again, if you wish to type the distribution into lists, you can perform a one variable statistical calculation and get the calculator to give you the mean value as well. In this question, we're given the probability distribution of x, and we're asked to find the two unknown probabilities, a and b. And we're also told but the expected value is 2.5. To do this, we use the fact that the sum of the probabilities has to equal 1 to write an equation involving a and b. And then if we simplify that equation to give a plus b equals 0.5. Then, if we use our expected value formula, to write a second equation involving a and b. Again, multiplying each value of the variable, x is 1 by 0 0.3, x is 2 by a, and so on, to add them all up, and we're told that the mean value is 2.5, so we equate that to 2.5. And again, if we simplify that equation, we now have a pair of simultaneous equations, which we can solve algebraically to give a equals 0 0.1 and b equals 0 0.4. Alternatively, you can use your calculator to solve simultaneous equations. If you press menu and select equation, or oh, sorry, just press exit in this case, exit again, back to the main menu, and press F1 for simultaneous equation. 
followed by F1 again for two unknowns. Then to delete any previous entries, if you press F2 and F1 to confirm that, and again press F1, we now have our uh, two equations ready to type in the coefficients. So in the first row, if we enter the coefficients of the first equation, that's 1, 1, and 0 0.5. And the second equation, 2, 3, and 1.4. And if we press F1 to solve the simultaneous equations, we will see again that x is equal to, or sorry, a is equal to 0 0.1 and b is equal to 0 0.4.